It's Sunday, the 24th of July, about 9.30. This is a quick video of what's been going on in the garden. It's been quite a bit happening. Uh, we are starting to get a lot of melons out, and if I can find them, there are a couple down in there, and there are a couple more that are somewhat hidden over in here. I don't know whether we'll be able to see them or not. Take my word for it, uh, they are very good. Uh, we've given some to our relatives and friends and they seem to be uh, well accepted. Uh, here are a couple that are uh, right where you can see them down front. Uh, we'll probably get about a dozen uh, out of this for the four plants that we have here. Since the uh, last uh, video the uh, sunflowers are starting to have some yellow tops. Uh, you can see it better from the uh, other end but uh, I'll zoom in on it here. You can see that they have uh, yellow tops. Uh, the Chinese snow peas have uh, spent their course. Uh, it's now overtaken by weeds. We've had 100 degree plus weather several times in the last two weeks and um, they don't like that very well so they are gone. The uh, beans that we had in here are also gone. We got five five gallon buckets of beans off of that one row. Uh, we took two five gallon buckets to Lafayette Food Finder and donated them uh, to them last week. Uh, since the last video I've also planted onion plants which you can see here these are set uh, the little round bulbs and they are some of them are eight to ten inches tall in less than two weeks. I have been watering them because of the heat. I also planted over here where you can see the little plastic thing, uh, some onion plants that were already growing and they haven't done anything. I got those from Bennett and out of maybe 75, uh, only a couple have uh, actually sprouted. The biggest uh, item that's been happening other than some of the plants uh, uh, reaching their maturity, you can see over here a couple more uh, melon plants, I mean, sorry, uh, must melons, uh, is the fact that the tomatoes have really started coming on heavily, uh, as well as the uh, green peppers are doing extremely well. You can see them down here. Uh, they are really great, uh, doing really well. Uh, we are getting several uh, tomatoes, four to six per day now. The first four plants here, the variety are called uh, Early Girl, and they have lived up to their names. They are the ones that we are uh, getting the most tomatoes from that are ripe. Let me see if I can get down in here, and you can see some nice red tomatoes. We've been sharing those with uh, a lot of people, and that's always fun to do. Uh, the big tomatoes are actually starting to pull down some of the tomato towers and you can see over here is one that's probably uh, three, three and a half inches across uh, that's doing great. The Romas that I've talked about a couple times over here are by the next time <coughs> we uh, do a video they will be uh, ripe. You can see some they're starting to come in uh, there. So we are not poor when it comes to tomatoes. We have a bountiful uh, supply, the tomatoes are doing extremely well. I have two two more things to show you in this short video. The zucchini plants are still very, very healthy. In all the years that I have gardened, I have never had zucchini last as long as they have. Usually stem borers get in them and kill the plants. These have not. Uh, they're starting to slow down their production of zucchini. Uh, there's one down in there, a couple that I can pick later on today, uh, but these zucchini have been absolutely great. Uh, a lot of weeds, grass growing in them, but the zucchini plants themselves uh, are doing uh, really well. And the last thing I want to show you, uh, other than Brady is out here with me, uh, he's guarding, making sure that I make a great video, uh, is the sunflowers 
are starting to uh, get heads on them and bloom and they will be extremely pretty, they already are. Uh, the ones that we planted for Linda's uh, honeybee project are uh, uh, all in bloom. A bunch of them have multiple heads on them. Uh, I'll zoom up in here so you can uh, see more of what they look like. They're absolutely gorgeous and uh, I'm sure they'll make a lot of great food for uh, the birds. Lastly, since the last video, the corn was just starting to tassel. Uh, it has completely tasseled out, and there are ears that are heavy on it. Uh, that's what tassels are for, is to fertilize the plant. So you have silk come out, uh, which will eventually turn into the ears. And the stand of corn is absolutely stupendous that uh, farmers should be very proud of. So we're starting to get ears now on the uh, corn uh, which will grow quite a bit fatter and uh, a little bit longer than what they are now so that's pretty much it from the garden on sunday the 24th of july everything is progressing very very nicely